time where the movie started Facing at a photo they've taken Space tree flying through the skies And battles happen everywhere Alright, thanks for joining me, adult action figure collectors Today we have Thwick He is part of the Mythic Legions Um, I forget which faction this is called I think it's Theros, or I don't know how to pronounce it But that's the uh, faction he's from um, and right here is a little short bio if you want to take a read of it. Um, so he is a goblin and he's made out of the typical body of the uh, goblins, which is a smaller, almost like a small type 2 body for the Mythic Legions. Um, he is an archer or I guess a, a crossbowman. Uh, but he does have some close-up attack uh, weapons as well. So you can see he comes with all this great gear that he has on him right now. Um, the things that aren't on him include the handle for his shield, which is in this plastic wrap right here. So this is the handle which will attach to the shield. We'll break that out in a little bit. And the standard back pieces right here for the Mythic Legions, which allows you to attach wings or even, you know, put the weapon on in the back there. So I was excited to get this guy. Um, this guy, where well shortened, in my opinion, it's because he's it's just the antiquated mythic legions joints is that he does not have a good weapon holding um wrist joint which goes up and down he has both of his wrists going uh back and forth but let's go over some of these accessories so obviously since he carries a crossbow he has an arrow um and this is your standard mythic legions arrow which you use for the bow it would have been nicer to have like a actual shorter arrow or bolt for a crossbow because they technically usually use smaller uh, um, projectile missiles. Um, he has this crossbow here, which has a nice elastic string here. So it technically will spring into action if you pull it back. Um, it's got that old time type of trigger. Uh, it's not a working trigger, but you know, if you had, I guess, squeeze this, these things would come down, allowing the string to snap forward and project the bolt into place. But this weapon looks nice. It's got a little bit of painting. It's just basically dark brown with black on it. Uh, but it's a nice figure or a nice uh, accessory to have. It's just uh, his ability to hold it isn't very good. If you were to carry it in his, hold it properly in his right hand, he wouldn't be able to hold it like I'm making him hold it here. So this is kind of how I have him hold it. But if it was actually going to go in his hand, it wouldn't, wouldn't go in the right uh, direction. That or he'd ha you would have to keep his arm straight like this and have him hold it, and then that just looks really weird. So. Because they haven't been trying to work on these wrist joints, you know, weapons just don't fit as properly as they should for these Mythic Legions. In any case, here's his quiver. We've seen this before. It's painted with the uh, blue arrows. It's a brown casing with black and uh, silver trim. Um, he has his sword, which is kind of like a scimitar type thing. We've seen this before. Um, it's got some red paint at the handle for the grip and gold uh, for the actual handle itself, along with a blade. Um, it has the, uh, the belt, which these, uh, these smaller belts for the, the type two bodies and the smaller figures like the orcs and the dwarves have. Um, and that allows them to hold those extra weapons, and, like the sword and the quiver. 
Um, he has detachable horns here. So these nice red horns. They do pop off easily, just like any Mythic Legions figure. And he comes with this nice shield. It's nicely decorated. Um, I currently have him propped on the back. Um, but that's where this handle piece comes in and you can, you know, plug it in the back here. That way you can hold it. So if, if you want to hold it, I guess with the right hand, plug it in there and you'll be able to hold that pretty well. Um, and then he has a shoulder pauldrons. So black shoulder pauldrons here with a uh, little silver studs and I'm just taking everything off slowly for you guys uh, just so that you can see him um, at his baseline so he comes like this in the box minus the belt um, this blue piece here does come off like any mythic legions figure and it hides this ugly joint here but this ugly joint allows for great mobility speaking of mobility Let's go into articulation. Now this figure I did not heat up. Actually before articulation, let's just go over um, just this nice design. I love his grin. Paintwork again with Mythic Legions and Sculpt are the key. That's why people buy these things. Even yes, they are though they are articulated. To me the articulation is a little, a little bit antiquated and could be better. Um, but the Sculpt is great. You can see the details, the texture and scratches and dents in the helmet. And with like any other Mythic Legions figure, it's very modular. You should be able to pop off the head, pop off like any joint and try and mix and match if, if you really wish to. But you can see the scale mail underneath the plate mail. Scale mail here is painted gold. And his plate mail is like a silverish color along with black. And he's got black gauntlets and black boots. But a fantastic sculpt, as usual, per the horseman. Um, his head is on a ball peg. So no hinge, just ball peg. So he can look down that much. He can look up that much. He can turn his head. He's got a little attitude. Um, and that's really it. The head, his uh, shoulder joint is in a, a single socketed joint. It can go all the way around and it can go up about 90 degrees. So that's decent. He's got single jointed elbows. Um, so they will bend about 90 degrees. Um, they can twist. His gauntlet right here will twist. So because his and his wrist will twist as well. Now as stated before, his uh, his wrist goes back and forth. It does not go up and down, which is the opposite of what you want for all these figures that are holding weapons. Um, I mean, at least have one that goes up and down and have the other one go back and forth. Um, he's got a diaphragm joint there and the diaphragm joint can tilt very little to the side there and tilts that much the other side it can tilt forward from the diaphragm joint about that much and it can tilt backwards pretty good about that much um, and we've got a ball joint at his hip, allows him to turn, allows him to bend very little, but there is some movement there. Doesn't bend forward or backward very much on that ball joint. Um, his hips, uh, he can do the splits with the uh, hips given this, uh, given the way that this joint is. So you can see underneath that ugly joint, but he can do complete Van Dams right here. Um, just get a better view of it. 
and you can see him kick forward actually probably better than 90 degrees his articulation his armor doesn't really arti uh, hinder the articulation compared to some of the other figures so about 90 degrees if not a little bit better and he can kick back really well as well so he could do splits this way as well so that's really nice um, his knees are single jointed and he's got a thigh swivel here so this allows his leg to go a little uh, swivel left and right knees do not swivel and he's got a uh, forward rocking um, pinford uh, ankle here ankle can go up that much can go back that much and can twist so that's really the articulation um this figure rocks i'm excited to have him um obviously i like the ogre figures better um but uh i like the goblins and this is an exceptional goblin to have so if you like goblins then you this is a definite must have so all right thanks for joining me and see you next time